everybody, Bulbo10000 here, bringing you day 28 of my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate a Classic Mode playthrough, and today we are here with our boy, it's Roy, and he's going to be taking on a journey of swords. Roy is one of the characters I have wanted to try out for the longest time, because as I have mentioned in previous videos, I didn't really buy much of the DLC for Smash 4. I only had Mewtwo, and that was because I bought both versions of the game. So, Roy... Interesting. I really want to try him out. I've played as Krom, and obviously they're Echo Fighters, but Roy's got a different recovery, so I want to kind of just try him out and see how he is. I also really like the series of games that Roy is from. Not Fire Emblem, but as in, like, the specific timeline, because the one that features his dad, Ellawood, is my first Fire Emblem game, and I absolutely love it, and I just love the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem art style. So Roy is a character I quite like. Hammer against Lucina, Crom and Ike, of course, Journey of Swords are taking on all, all the fire emblems. And they're fighting each other, perfect. Okay, so, ooh, I like that. That is a, that is a very flashy recovery move. I like that. It's probably not the most useful, admittedly, but, oh, it looks good. Roy's also got a lot of power behind him, which I really like, because that's not something you get with a lot of characters in this game, let alone characters from Fire Emblem. Like, Ike is the only one I would argue with a lot of power behind him. Then, obviously, you've got... You've got, uh... I wouldn't think Chrom as well, who's got some power behind But Roy, ooh. For, I'm pretty sure he's only, like, 16 years old. He's got a lot of strength in those arms. Mm-mm-mm. All right, plus 0 0.6, but it's a nice play. Okay, Meta Knight, of course. Of course, we're fighting Meta Knight. We'll probably fight all three Links at some point, because they won't miss a chance to force us to fight every single leak, leak, Link possible. Let's fight some Leaks as well, though. All right, what's his, his grabs like? Okay. It's all right. Come near me, Meta Knight, please. Nah, he knew. His AI was smart enough to know, don't go near him. Leave him be. There we go. And he's done! I didn't think that was actually going to KO him. I thought he would, uh, would come back down. Goodbye, Meta Knight. Alright, I'm guessing we're going to go against the Lynx next. I feel like they're the most obvious next picks. Oh, we're just going against uh, Skyward Sword Link. Okay. Wasn't really expecting that one. I, would, I was really expecting they'd just kind of go all out with the links, and they just kind of put all three of them in, like, one round. Just they, like, ca go nuts, you know? I really want to hit with that attack. I want to see how it feels. Oh, beautiful. I re I'm, I'm not going to lie. I really like Roy. I love how he feels. Just as a fire... Not even just as a Fire Emblem character, but just as a character in general. He just feels, like, really useful. Like, he feels like a character that could certainly... Do a lot. That's probably the easiest way of putting it. Okay, come on. Come on. I need to take you out now, Link. Otherwise, I... Otherwise, I don't get that nice play. Except I'm not gonna get that nice play anyway. Now, let me just... Get you out of here. Come on, give me that nice play anyway. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to. I mean, 62,000 points, you know you want to. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Alright, Shulk. Oh, yeah, cool. Shulk's Monado's a sword. Right, of course. I've literally, by the way, uh, filming this literally about half an hour after beating Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I beat the game. I officially completed it. Which was really cool. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 would highly recommend... I can completely understand now why people wanted Rex and Pyra in the game, in Smash. At the same time, I obviously, I could tell it wasn't going to happen, but I completely get it. Like, oh, they are... They are great. Xenoblade is great. Love it. I hate this level. Oh my god. I mean, I like our planes. I just don't like this whole, like, edge guarding meta that kind of we have to deal with when we're here. Because that happens. Shulk's just like, I'm gonna air slash at the bottom of the level, and you're not gonna be able to beat me. <laughs> I'm gonna stay up here. You gonna come up here? You gonna come say hello to me? I'm gonna say hi. Shulk on his home stage is just awful. Because he, cause he can just do whatever the fuck he wants, and he'll be okay. Alright, I'm gonna get the Gus Bellows and just blow him to death. Damn it. Alright, let's drop down there, and then let's just... Oh, he's gone. 
It's okay, my damage actually knocked him out, so that's nice. We're gonna pretend that that never happened. I also think that's one of the first times I've actually fought Shulk in classic mode. I don't think he's been up uh, around that much. Cloud, of course. And then I assume the rest of the Fire Emblem characters maybe will show up. Like, we haven't fought Marth yet, obviously. And he's like, prime swordsman material. And obviously Corrin as well. Well, Corrin's more dragon than sword, to be fair. Like, they use the Yato, but... Like, I'm trying to think, who else is there that we could actually, like, use, so quote-unquote, for this? Like, what other sword wielders are there in this game? I'm, tr I'm genuinely, like, trying to think. Like, because I, I, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit unsure. Oh, I love, I love this stage. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know it's a battlefield stage, and it's got these summons, and they're really cool. I like this stage. I like what it is. I wish there was more to it, and I wish that we didn't have to listen to this music every single time we came on here, but, you know, good stage. Love it. Thank you. Not gonna be a nice play, though. Oh, it is! Yes. Okay. Who's our final sword fighter? Marth, Corrin, and Corrin. Right, because this one was actually shown in the, um, the Nintendo Direct. I remember the, the, uh, the first one that showed a classic mode. And it's a free-for-all as well, so it means they're not all just gonna be like, oh, let's fight, let's just fight Roy and leave everyone else alone. Like, they're, they're actually gonna give us a, a chance, a sporting chance. Because, you know, sword wielders, just naturally, when you're fighting them all, can be quite brutal. Oh, and now he gets two Corrins, which is like, a uh, nightmare fuel. One Corrin. I wanted to pick that up. I should have just ran away. I could have I could have gotten into the eights there, damn it. I do like how Roy plays though, I'm not gonna lie. Like I need to get better with him, but I really like how he plays. He's the sort of character I could see myself getting good with. So I would like to definitely try him out in the future. Him and Corrin, they're the ones I want to get really good with in Fire Emblem. Alright, bonus game, let's see. Roy, how fast you are, how good you are, how can you do? Bam! Alright. Decent jumping skills. Obviously his uh, side B is really good for kind of just getting through those blocks. Oh no. Okay, I'm alive. Almost overestimated myself there, but I'm okay. Alright, goal is just to get in there. We're in. We're in, boys. Roy is not only our boy, he is also a talented boy. Except for that bit. Wasn't a talent there. Run, run, Roy, run, run. You got this, you got this. You did really well there, Roy. You did so well there. I don't know if it's gonna be like the best run we've ever had. Might be? Could be? I'm gonna check that after this, cause I think that's literally, like, the sort of score that I, I think is, like, my high score, 1,037, 137,000. Alright, and then we got Master and Crazy, hello, my boys. Alright, let's go after you first, because you're gonna finger snap me. Alright, Thanos, calm your shit. You ain't no Marvel villain. Alright, that's Master Hand down. Didn't know why I countered there. That's, um, and Crazy's down, so I can start damaging him. Perfect. Oh, there's the, uh... I, I was thinking that was where they were gonna put the spikes, you know, because Master Hand does that spike move that I don't like. It's a really annoying one. Oh, I love how he sounds. Well, you just sound so beautiful. Yeah, this is actually going pretty well. I mean, it's obviously a lower difficulty version of the fight, but it's going well. I'm having fun. All right, Master Hand's down, and... Crazy's down. Boom. I'm happy with that. Nice ending. Not gonna get, like, a high intensity. Maybe I'll get to the 8.0 just for actually beating the boss without any continues, but I'm not sure. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Yep, we're in the eights. 1.1. Wow. Okay, thank you. 
All right, I will take it. So that is Roy's classic mode playthrough. I will see you at the end of the credits to see what Roy's fighter spirit looks like, what we get, and then I'm going to go and check the stats so that I can see if that was our best bonus game or not. I'll see you in a moment. All right, what has our boy gotten? I hope it's a picture of him with Roy. That'd be amazing. Please let it be true. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm so happy. That is the perfect picture. Our two Roys, who are our boys, together at last, united on one front. This is the perfect picture. They knew the meme. They knew. Okay. All right, what fighter spirit have we got for Roy? I want to see what his uh, original Why concept art looks like, because I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Okay, yeah. And then we get Welt from... I'm going to assume Fire Emblem. He looks like a Fire Emblem character. Could just be a rando, though. Classic ticket, thank you. We get a Metroid Lockdown battle music, and that should be that. So, thank you everyone for watching today's classic mode. Tomorrow we're going to be taking on Krom's Fight as One. But first things first, I want to check my stats quickly, because I want to just see if that was our best uh, mode of going through that thingy Madu hicker. So, stats, uh, where would it be? It would be in... It wouldn't be in Smash. It'd be in, like, uh, like games and more, if there is one. Highest classic mode intensity cleared. Uh, bonus game high score, 1, uh, 137,980. I don't know if that's the one we got today, but I'll probably just put a little marker at the end of the video if it is. Like, it'll be like, there'll be, like, the thing that says, yes, it is. But that's nice. I like that. Credits high score is that. How the heck did I get that? I don't even know who, who I got that with. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my previous videos if you haven't already. I've done classic modes for everyone. Well, a lot of people. I'm also gonna buy this. Just, just, just let me just buy that. Is that Luca from Bayonetta? Is that... I think it is? I can't buy it, but is it? Yeah, that's Luca. He looks a bit different. Is this a Xenoblade 2 appearance? And then we got um, Lynn from Xenoblade Chronicles X. Haven't played the game, though. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please consider checking out my Discord down below. I post updates every time I post a video or I stream. I stream five days a week, so I would highly recommend you check me out on Twitch as well, because there I get to interact with you guys. Sometimes I play Smash. Sometimes I play other games. I like to Let's Play games over there, so it's a good place to be. I also want to give a shout-out to all of my lovely patrons this month. All of you guys are super supportive. January is a very rough month for YouTubers because ad revenue drops after Christmas and like stuff that maybe you'd be able to earn like a living on uh, on in December is like you can't earn anything in January so I'm very grateful to those patrons who are supporting the channel thank you so much thanks everyone for watching hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow for Chrome's video goodbye